and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a video that um, is quite similar to the video I did last week where I recreated Hayley Steinfeld's um, Vogue makeup look, um, but I'm going to actually do the Madison Beer one because I said in last week's video, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> I said in last week's video that um, I'd seen Flossie and someone else do Madison Beers, so I thought, oh, I'm going to try another one. But since I've seen so many people talking about Madison Beers that um, I just want to try it for myself. Um, I have watched the video before, but I didn't actually try doing the makeup look at the same time. So I'm going to try that today um, and just, you know, see how I like it. Um, I've changed position today, so the window's in front of me. I don't actually know if you can see me any better. I'm gonna see. Ah. Let's see if I can. No, that one's the best. Um, so yeah, I've got my laptop here, and I'm gonna follow along with the makeup tutorial and see what she does. Um, yeah, so it's just easy blush and soap brows. The only thing I'm not going to do is the soap brows. Uh, I don't have products to do that, so that's a slight issue, but oh, the rest of it I'll be able to do, I just won't be able to do the soap brow look. Um, yeah, so it says guide to easy blush and soap brows, but she does a whole makeup look because I have, say, have seen it before. So I'm going to start, hopefully again I will put the... Um, recording of this on screen at the same time so when I'm watching it you can watch it and then I'll stop it and I'll redo it so we'll start it now hey guys it's Madison here and I'm here today to show you my everyday skincare and makeup routine the first thing that I do when I wake up is I immediately wash my face done that already I'm gonna need to move out so I can get this draw So I'm going to just skip ahead a bit because I have already cleansed. If you will, next step is. Okay, so toner I have. I'm going to be using the Ren Clarifying Toner. This is for combination to oily skin. I would say my skin is normal, maybe a little oily T-zone, but it's pretty normal. So I'm going to put this one on cotton pads. She hasn't, but because this is like a watery um, consistency. I'm not sure how well I'll be able to just put it on my skin, but I put a fair amount on and then I'm just going to, I like pat my toner on because try to get all the product on there to actually sit and then I'm just going to go up my neck I don't know if she's going to do this but oh, I like to anyway okay next step Okay, so she's using a roller again. I've not got a roller. Do you really want one? I want one of the, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce it because I don't wanna butcher it, but one of the things that like the heart, no, not quite a heart shape, but you go up your skin as well. I really want one of them. I'm gonna try and skip forward a bit because let's see where the next bit is after the roller. Moisturizer. So she's using a drunk elephant one. Mine's just a simple rest and reset 72 hour hydrating gel. 
and I'm just going to put that on and put a lot on here but as I say some of the bits I don't have in the skincare bit I'm more interested in the makeup bit really She's using a face mist. I don't actually have one. I'm gonna use something which I'm just gonna say is similar. This is the Goddess Glow Fixing Spray by Revolution Pro, and it's got niacinamide and cucumber extract in it. Um, it is a fixing spray, and I think it says, well, it just says makeup fixing spray, so it doesn't say you have to use it after makeup. But I'm just gonna use this because I like the. She's not used a serum, and I would usually use my ordinary niacinamide serum. Um, and I'm going after this, so I'm going to use this as my spray. It might help a bit glow as well. Um, oh, it smells really nice as well. So she's using the Caudalie uh, Facial Mist, which I've seen a few people use over the time I've watched YouTube. So last step for skincare. Last step. I'm hoping eye cream. eye cream she's using La Mer which is a little bit out of my price range so I'm just taking the L'Oreal Revitalift um eye cream and I'm gonna she's using like a little fancy tool that I'm assuming the La Mer one comes with I'm not yeah so she's using the she's using the little like cooling like got this like a silver ball on the end I'm just lightly patting always using index fingers because it's the finger that you'd like to have the I think it's like the least control over almost or you can control it but you don't put as much strength in it whereas this one you can be a bit harsh with oh uh, no sorry these are your index. using your index finger can be too harsh so using your ring finger to pat or just lightly Push. you don't really want to be scraping the skin because over time that's just a lot of like pushing and pulling be tapping that's just my tip also she literally looks like she's got like her eyelashes are amazing and her eyes like she like, I look like gross with all my hair scraped back like this or I'll just made it really went there but she looks like she's got eyeliner on and like these like thick eyelashes so dark and nice whereas I just look like a toe They're on to makeup now. Okay, she's gonna do soap brows. I'm just gonna get my brow archery. I know this is like cheating and not copying, but I just don't have that. I've not my eyebrows. Um, I just sort of filled them in. I don't change the shape, but there's not really the hair to push around particularly. Like that, my hair doesn't. It doesn't move particularly. Like when I brush it like this, I'm not really moving it. I just do it for the sake of it, probably. So this is just the Brow Archery by Soap and Glory in brownie points. It's like a I've got hair on me, like a taupe brown, medium brown color. That's the color I always go for um in any like makeup line if it says ash brown taupe brown medium brown that's the shade i'm going for it's like quite a gray looking um and i've just got that right above my eyebrows quite a gray looking shade i'm gonna just do this really lightly because it doesn't look like she's really filling them in so i will just do fill and brush it out well There's so much hair and product in this smoothie. It's really gross. 
Yo. It's actually just brow product. It's got just like whatever. So I've got a lot of brow hairs under here. I don't think you can see them not close enough. But I'm trying not to do anything, just like let it grow out, but I'm gonna end up with like a massive block, I think. I'm gonna bring it a bit closer. My brows look really dark at the moment, they always do when I first do, especially because there's no sun, they look extra dark in the camera. It's fine. Okay, so she's using a skin tint. Um, it's supposed to just even out her skin tone. So she's just using it to even out her skin tone, she says. She's using a blend, beauty blender. I am too lazy. I'm going to use Mac Quick Plus to wet my, damp my beauty blender. And I bought this recently. This is the Mac Face and Body. I bought it in shade N2. And this is really nice. Really like this, actually. Um, I bought this online. I think I managed to colour match quite well. I mean, I'm pretty pale, so it's not hard. But it was the, um, what's it called? Like, the, the oh, I had a brain malfunction. Uh, like, the colour, like, it's not pink or olive. Like, I was trying to, I was trying to get the colour right, if that makes sense. So, I'm just going to put this on the back of my hand. She's not doing a very thick layer. I'm gonna, just going to keep watching before I put it all on. But she said she's just using it to even out her skin tone. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna need loads more than that. So, anything with this, I found is you need quite a lot. I'm not used to using a beauty blender, so it always absorbs a lot of product. And because this is quite watery, I feel like it's picking up quite a bit of product. I don't think she's going down her neck. I'm going to have to because I can't not. You know, we're recreating, not copying. So I'm just putting a bit more on to go down my neck. But so far, I'm really liking this foundation. This will be really nice when the sun's out. I've heard people talk about this. I think um, Sid and Elle use this quite a lot or Sid does. I'm sure she said she likes it. Um, and I've always wanted to try it. And yeah, it's a really nice shade and i have decided i'm gonna have to get into using sponges more often and maybe invest in a beauty blender because it does i do love using a brush to feel like i can wipe the product in a lot better and i don't feel like i'm wasting product whereas when i use a sponge i just feel like you end up missing half of the product yeah i just feel like you don't end up like soaking all the product product up blah, blah, blah. you don't end up soaking all the product up obviously um in a brush whereas in a sponge you do but it definitely gives the finish a lot nicer or i'm just gonna have to get in the habit of like going over with this to pat foundation into the skin that'll be i've seen people do that before so i'm gonna carry on and see what her next step is because i can't remember really okay so next step is the lord and savior oh. is using the nars creamy concealer um i don't own that so i'm going to be using the maybelline fit me and the collection last imperfection because this is a little bit too light for me just to use on its own so I might have to use a bit of both. I'm gonna see where she puts it. Forever, and I feel like I just started getting into makeup a bit more in the last like two years. I just never thought I was good at it, to be honest with you. And I used to have eyelash extensions, and I used to just not really care to wear makeup if that felt makeup y to me enough. So I didn't really wear any makeup. I actually 99 to be completely honest, 99 percent of my days I don't wear any makeup at all. I'm just too lazy to be frank, but when I'm in the mood and I have time to do like a full, full face, I will because I, I like She's in a light colour. I'm going to try using this and then it's going to be really light. Like all under her eyes. Oh, like right in there. And all under her eyes like this. And then she's got like a forehead, quite a lot. A forehead and on her chin. 
I think that's it. And then she's got in with the darker colour on her spots, which I do generally do that anyway. We don't want to be highlighting these. It'll look probably crazy because it's going to be so light. I might have to go back over with the, the darker shade. We'll see. I'll see how crazy it'll look once it's all rubbed in. It looks actually. I don't think it looks too crazy in the camera. Uh, in the getting yeah, the camera at all. I'll see what I look like here because I've got to actually go after. Oh, okay. Wow. I'm actually surprised because now I have actually blended that in. It's fine. I think the trick is the beauty blender because when I use that light shade with a brush. I look crazy like it looks ridiculous so this is obviously the trick i'm gonna have to use this more often Okay, so she's using the Charlotte Tilbury contour sticks. I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild contour stick. I have got a darker shade of concealer, but it is very dark. So she's just done a little bit here. And then here. First, she's used quite a dark shade of the contour sticks and I'm not that dark. So, so she's just blending that in. I've seen so many people say how nice this makeup look is and glowy and I feel like I do look quite glowy in the camera. Sorry, I've got a mirror there, so I'm just checking. I feel like it is a good... Quite a glowy... Oh, I've got a hair. Quite a nice glowy look. Let's see what's next. So I start with all the base products first. Way, but this is the way that works for me so this is the way that i do it my favorite product in makeup period is blush this is my favorite blush ever the charlotte tilbury cream blush. for a big far charlotte farlet i was gonna say charlotte tilbury fan uh, uh madison beer is so i'm gonna have to invest obviously i put a lot of this stuff on and people always ask was there one makeup product you could only use for the rest of your life it would 100 percent be this i don't care if i had pimples and no concealer, I would use blush no matter what. And I know it looks like a lot, just please bear with me. Okay, so we're using a lot. So I'm using the Kiss and Smink um, Cream Blush in Tullum. These are actually quite similar products to the Hayley... Hayley? Yeah, Hayley Steinfeld look that I did. A lot of cream products she, she said put a lot on but bear with so kind of gives that nice like sunburnt look though i do i really do actually enjoy cream blush um and using cream products i think i might need a little bit more um it's really nice this one is this reminds is like the law oh my god my brain this is like a Cream version of Nars Laguna, um, Nars Orgasm blush. Uh, I think I did say that in the other video as well, but it's like pinky with like gold flecks. It's just really, really nice. Am I going with a slightly darker shade? So this, I'm going to go in with the Mali Rose Petal Pink Bounce Back Blush. Just a bit of a darker shade because. Oh, she has a lot on. I also completely blush up my nose. Like, I'm a cartoon character. It gives me happiness. So now I'm going to go on with powder. Here with her operations. She's about to go down. Everybody. See the Charlotte Tilbury powder. 
Oh, I can copy her exactly. Charlotte Tilbury powder and looks like she's using the Real Technique Techniques brush. This is the contour brush. I'm going to see where she puts the powder, but I also do have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and this is, I've got it in shade medium. So she's doing it. Spots. Now I'm moving on to my bronzer. She's doing spots and T-zone. Why not really that well covered, I don't think. Let me see. So does anyone else also keep their products like in the cardboard? I do this for so long, keep all my products in the, in the cardboard, especially when they're new. So she's doing a bronzer, if I can find. She's using Fenty Beauty. Again, I don't have that, so I'm just going to use the Revolution Sculpting Bronzer in Bar here. I'm going to see where she puts it. She's using a big fluffy brush, so I'm just using my Angled Real Techniques one. She's basically putting it where she's put her contour, so... And I don't really ever nose contour because again, no nose contour. I have no idea what I'm, I'm gonna put a bit ever when it comes to that. But again, this is something that I've acquired confidence over the past few years to be able to do. I do it very, very lightly. Oh, well, I don't know it's contour. Okay, so she's doing nose contour, like the tiniest bit. So I'll just do a tiny bit too. She didn't really show the colour. She didn't really show the colour. the best blush ever. Okay, so she's not showing the colour of that. So she's using the Fenty Beauty powder blush. So ginger bin, is that what she said? Ginger. Beauty blush, which is a ginger bin and Moscow mule. This is the best blush ever. Ginger bin and Moscow Miss Moscow mule, it sounds like. So, so looks so matte. So I'm going to use this Morphe 8W Warm Masters palette. And I'm going to take this like shade here in MUA and then this one in Goals. They're both matte. This one is quite an orangey ginger colour to me. This is what I'm thinking the colour looks like. Just mixing the two. And she says, you know, I can have enough blush. She says, make it obnoxiously blushy as possible. So she used quite like a highlight colour shade, it looks like, and then a matte brown. So I'm actually going to use the Miley Ziegler palette, which isn't Madison Beer's, but you know, I've not got the Madison Beer palette. So I'm going to use the shade Angel, which is this like highlightery shade. This has got like pink flecks in it, but we're gonna go with it just over the lid i'm gonna mix a little bit of godmum in there and then i'm gonna use the that's into the crease of my eyes right here and i'm using i go i keep going back in with this lighter shade just oh she's the matte it the okay so I'm going to take the shade Butterfly Fantasy and put that all over 
just on top of that where I've just put that, them light colours. And then I'm going to take the matte shade. So I'm going to take the shades Latte and M3. She says it just in the crease, so. So I think this one is matte. So just in the crease. I'm going to look a bit patchy, but. I need another brush. I'm working most of your brush, and this is the best eyeshadow color in the world. So I use this brush for my inner corner, and that's the best color. So I look, I always try to look down the like center. So she's creating like the point. So she's using an angled brush. I need a really thin angled brush. I'm going to use this one. This is the Morphe M432, and it's actually, I don't know if you can see, like a square brush i'm going to use that to create it her tip is to look down so she's just doing like the this is really tickling ah oh no i'll get that in a second I'm going to take my concealer brush because I think I've done this way too big. She's going to do eyeliner with shadow, I think. She just said she um, imagines where her long eyelash will go, where it would sit. It's really hard to imagine with my eyelashes because they don't curl like hers. So I am going to struggle, I think. So, so you see kind of how it like aligns with my eyelash? She's got really like nice almond shaped eyes though. I think that's the goal at least. So once the eyeliner's on, I said... Okay, I'm going to give it a go. I think I'm going to be all right using this shade. I need to find a good brush that I want to use. Will this one do? Use the quilt shadow on this. I'm going to use the Morphe. It says M160-1-16. Uh, I'm going to use the brown from the Blue Your Away palette. I'm going to try. I'm not sure it's going to work. It's just so boxy. Brush the outside of it. I don't know if you can... There's like a tiny little wing. I don't know how I've just done that. It usually takes me forever. I've done it. I'm not touching it anymore. The next step is my highlighter. 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 I need to try this Charlotte Tilbury, the contour ones and the blush and the highlight. Really need to try them because they look incredible, especially for the summer. They look really, really nice. Um, so cream highlight. I, I'm going to have to use the one I always use, I think. Oh, I've got itchy nose, which is the next one because... The only other ones I've got somewhere are like the thick liquid ones and they're going to be too much. So I'm going to take this one and just go. Slight variation in pigment, I guess. And I put it on my fingers. She's doubling up. I don't have enough to double up, so I'm just gonna take a powder 
I'm gonna, if I can find where I've put it, I'm just gonna take my Becca highlighter. I'm just gonna get my finger and just go over top. She said she likes to look like a forest nymph and a fairy and I've just highlighted that spot, which is not what I wanted to do. I'm actually so impressed that I've managed to do that eyeliner. Like I've managed to get that, like a, I never can do that. I'm gonna say it's Madison Beer. She has some power through this video. Just waiting for mascara. Mascara. It's called Low Lash Slick Glossier. And it makes my eyelashes look like eyelashes at the end. It just fills them out so much. Okay. So she's using the Glossier when she's saying makes it like she's got lash extensions. I mean, to achieve that look, I need to cut my lashes. So I'm going to cut my lashes because... We're not achieving a, like, a lash extension look without lashes here. Uh, yeah, well, without actual lashes or without curling my eyelashes. Uh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I got mascara in my eyes, baby. <sighs> God damn it. Right. I'm back and wait for this to dry. I managed to just get that off with a cotton bud, but I'm going to have to get a little bit of uh, concealer. She just jinxed me. I'm okay. telling you. In a corner highlight. So I throw this into the inner corner. Um, I don't do it too much, just a little bit, just enough to get by. This is my favorite lip liner because it matches. In a corner highlight, I'm just going to take the Becca one. I'll do lip liner. So she's in Shark Tilbury and she said it's similar to a lip so she can get away with overlining. Oh, if the camera moved, I'm really sorry. I think it has because I think the top of my head just got off. I kicked it and I'm not changing it. So I'm going to use the Morphe Backseat Love Lip Liner. It's the only one that I have that's similar to my lips. So she's overlining Already you can see this right underneath. My lip is and I go below it. This lip gloss. I'm gonna try. So I personally do go quite a way in when I do my lip liner because this isn't exactly the same as my lip um, color. So I like to go a way in when I'm overlining. Otherwise I'm not literally lining the lips at all. Copying what she does actually really helps like so you go quite far underneath your bottom lip but then you like just join get to the normal to your normal lip. So lip gloss what she's using. She's using the lip oil, I don't have and a lip oil. I really oil. like to get that cupid bow. I put it on like my lip liner on my skin, but I, once you put lip gloss on top of that, it looks like a lip. And so she's saying lip gloss, but she's also saying lip liner. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit of Fenty because she used Fenty products in there. She likes Rihanna. This is the Fenty Glow shade. And I'm not going to use Load. Last. Oh, she's going back in with Fix and Spray. So she is actually going back in with the Fix and Spray that I used before. I do actually have the Morphe Madison Beer 
seal the deal luminous setting spray which looks amazing you can see that that's incredible she's not using that so we're just using fixing spray so i'll go back in with fixing spray too it smells amazing i don't know what it smells of oh she's just said a light spray hair down And hoops. She says golden hoops. So let me just stop the um, screen recording. So we are all finished. This is the makeup routine. I love it. I actually can understand why so many people have been redoing it and also then just like doing it in the makeup routine. I was watching Lydia um, Baylor Solo's um, vlog yesterday. And she said she's been copying hers or doing parts of it anyway. And I can really see why. I really like the small flick. I think it looks really nice. I think the skin looks glowy. The blush looks really nice as well. I just really do like it. And I'm so glad I've actually copied it. I'm definitely going to be probably implementing some of this actually in my makeup routine. The I really like the eyeliner flick. because It's just so subtle. But it just does help to like wing the eye out the blush again the blush and the cream contour or blush and the highlight and the lips i just really like it i just need to try and maybe invest in some of the products she's got like the charlotte tilbury ones incredible that bit has like me um but yeah that's the finished makeup look let me know what you think down below um also if anyone has recreated it let me know down below um and let me know what you think or if you've done it on your own channel um let me know down below and i'm enjoying watching people recreate it it's quite nice to see because i think everyone does put their own sort of um like twist on it or what they do and it's just nice to see different people's techniques so i'd really like to see other people's doing it um if you could please make sure to like and subscribe the video um comment down below any videos that you'd like to see from me i'm really debating <laughs> doing the 10k food challenge i've been thinking about it for a while i've not had a nice day i've just been eating food for so long cause i've been trying to eat healthy ish and exercising so i would love i might do that I might do that one day this week i'm just not sure how i'm gonna do it i'm gonna have to like i don't know but it means i'm gonna have to go and get fast food several times i might do it on thursday or friday for like next week's video or something or as an extra as an extra upload mm. i might do it now i might have to do it on thursday or friday you know and just binge food it'd be a good time to do it if it's easter because i should eat chocolate but because i have to walk the dogs anyway and i usually do like 5k and i do some skipping is that cheating let me know if that's cheating doing exercise i don't know anyway so yeah if you could please make sure to like and subscribe um i can see that you know a lot of people that watch aren't subscribed so i'd really appreciate it if you could um yeah and hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you next week for um the next video.